बोन मैरो ट्रांसप्लांट और स्टेम सेल ट्रांसप्लांट कैन क्योर मैनी डिसीजेज मैनी डिसऑर्डर्स एंड डिजीजेज ऑफ ऑफ द ब्लड दे कुड बी ब्लड कैंसर रिलेटेड और बिनेंग डिसऑर्डर्स लाइक थैलेसीमियाज और ए प्लास्टिक एनीमियाज इन द ब्लड कैंसर कैटेगरी बोन मैरो ट्रांसप्लांट आर यूज टू ट्रीट कंडीशन लाइक मल्टीपल माइलोमा लिम्फोमाज स्पेशली वेन दे रिलैप्सड Uh, and leukemias, uh, things like acute myeloid leukemia, acute lymphoblastic leukemia, uh, and some of the myelodysplastic syndromes, uh, and some of the myeloproliferative syndromes, especially myelofibrosis. It is important to realize that bone marrow transplant is not an end-stage treatment, and it is a treatment to be employed at the right time at the right stage of the disease. Unlike solid organ transplant. bone marrow transplant is improved or, or is used to improve the depth of remission in blood cancers especially uh, cancers like multiple myeloma uh, and in multiple myeloma bone marrow or stem cell transplant is used as standard of care in upfront therapy some of the disorders uh, bone marrow transplant improves uh, in the cure rates and these transplants or these disorders are acute leukemias where the transplants are used Uh, in second cr which means the disease has already come back in a particular patient and now we are using the transplant uh, to augment the intensity of the treatment or to harness the graft versus leukemia effect that the transplant can offer us bone marrow transplant uh, is is a type of treatment where we employ chemotherapy and uh, kill all the bone marrow cells with that chemotherapy to create space and to create a situation in which the new bone marrow can enter and set up Uh, in the existing space this creates a situation where for the first few weeks of the transplant the patient has a very low immune system and very low threshold for developing infections uh, which is why the first 3 months or first 100 days of a transplant are very important in the sense that the patient has to stay away from infections or stay away from people who are obviously infected and virtually be isolated at home or in the hospital depending on where the patient is Because transplant uh, is intensive treatment, uh, there are several do's and don'ts that the patients have to uh, be very careful about uh, after a transplant. Uh, at discharge, which is usually about three to four weeks after a transplant, most patients are counselled about what to do at home and what to avoid. So usually, these do's and don'ts focus around the fact that the patients have to be isolated. and they have to stay away from people who have obvious infections they have to eat food which is right for them and the idea is that they should not develop infection from the food so the food has to be cooked and if in in foods that cannot be cooked like salads or fruits uh, they have to be clean uh, washed freshly and cut freshly and consumed without storage there are several treatment options that are available when a bone marrow transplant fails some of these options are experimental and some of these options are standard of care and we have to remember that the disease is pretty severe when a bone marrow transplant has failed so most of these options uh, need to be discussed with your doctor and most of these options are available uh, in forms of chemotherapy or in forms of newer treatment like by specific antibodies or uh, the treatment that is coming up quite quickly now uh, called car t cells and and these options all have to be uh, individualized toward a, towards a particular patient and uh, make sure that you as a patient uh, discuss uh, all these options and alternatives that are available uh, with length at length with your doctor uh, so that you can choose the right option for yourself